Hello and welcome to the part 2 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will take a look at how to clean up the downloaded mesh in ZBrush. We will be covering these areas. First of all, uh, we will use masking in ZBrush to select the, uh, the, the terrain uh, which we don't need. Then actually we will invert that mask to, uh, to, to hide that part and then delete it using tools in ZBrush. Uh, then some of the uh, then I'll be explaining about how to uh, save the geometry in in different levels just for the sake of uh, keeping a backup. Then then we go ahead and and finish the process of deleting all the unwanted parts of the geometry. Then we'll go into uh, decimation master and use decimate to uh, to reduce the uh, the high poly into a manageable level of uh, low resolution mesh. Then we go ahead and uh, smoothen out all the noisy areas. Then use remesh to um, to adjust the topology, uh, and then we uh, we sculpt it basically to to adjust it uh, to the original high poly mesh. Because some sometimes when we decimate the mesh and smoothen it out, the geometry can can go really flat. Then after that, uh, we will uh, 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 we will unwrap it, uh, do a do a simple you know, flatten pass of the UVs, and then that will generate a really nice UV island which we can use in 3ds Max to uh, make make a good good quality unwrap. Okay, so let's get started. Let's uh, load the tool. So I will go to my project folder um, content texture vegetation trees tree stump so that that's a tool z tool so i'm just going to load it and when i drag it in can see a really nice uh, high resolution model i got here so this is straight from mega scans uh, that is pretty good. So I just need the nice details on normal. So if you really zoom in, you can see there's a bit of distortion when I go really zoom in because the 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 mesh is only about uh, 7.5 million polys. So I would say it is good. Uh, it is it is good for this purpose um, because one one more thing is that so from the player's viewpoint, the the tree is up there. So the player is not going not ever going to reach there. So even if you look at the tree from here, from really close up, uh, you won't see much details. Uh, you, like I, uh, because it's uh, very high up there. So that is. But if the tree is close here somewhere, like you might need more, um, um, more resolution. But but Megascans always gives that brush. You can maybe you can just try sculpting some extra details on it if you want. Okay. So here I will just switch the uh, material to matcap gray. But that that gives me more nice definition of the tree, and I just set up a, a a custom toolbar here, so I'll be saving this project as uh, a ball tree dot zero one I me mean, underscore zero one. I just save it. That is saved. Now we need a texture for this, so we we'll just get the texture for from uh, the one we downloaded. So import texture. So that is the uh, Wood tree color map. Just just, just open it. Uh, there is a problem with this texture because this te texture has to be inverted, uh, flipped by. So yeah, it has to be flipped. So I'll show you what I mean. So go to texture map. But if I assign it right now, I'll wait for it. See, it's like it is totally upside down. So how can I fix it? Go to texture. Okay. Again, select this texture here and just flip Y. So I flipped. Now, now reapply. Wait for it. Now, it's, now it's fine. Now it's perfect. Now, how will you check the uh, texture quality? So right now, this uh, this tree has, I mean, this material has lighting on it. So if I change this to a flat color, you can see uh, this one is like really really showing off that details on it now if i zoom in you can see some some places that are blurry so 
तो दिस पार्ट इज गुड दिस पार्ट इज गुड दिस पार्ट इज गुड बट दिस पार्ट इज लाइक नॉट गुड सो सो एट दिस स्टेज वी कॉन्ट डू एनी थिंग बिकॉज इट इज अ बेग्ड टेक्स्चर इन टू द टेक्स्चर सॉरी बेग्ड इन टू द मॉडल सो वी कॉट चेंज एनी थिंग सो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद मेगा स्कैंस now if you if you go out with a with a with a with a good dslr camera and if you can take some uh if you can ca- uh, capture your own photogrammetry uh, as assets that is the best thing to do okay so you know what i'm going to do is uh i'll be uh, i don't need this did this the soil here on the terrain so i'll be removing them using a um I'm using a mask. Then, then in, invert the mask. Then delete the mesh wherever I don't need it. So before doing that, I need to go go to sub tool, make a copy of this, duplicate the sub tool. Then just rename it to be line three uh, underscore. Um, Called underscore maybe zero one. So zero one is on uh, uh, original. Okay. So just keep keep these as um, as a just 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 in case anything happens to the file, I need to have a backup. So I'm just going to save the file. So always keep saving it. Never forget to save. Okay. So after saving it, I'm just going to duplicate again. So this is for uh, tree sculpt. Um, so mask. You can mask it. So how will I apply mask? So just first, first, first of all, find out which part you need and which part you don't need. So for this tree, I'm going to keep it like uh, if you look at it sideways. So press shift and 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 um, and you and left mouse button. You can see the tree has a pretty good detailed base. So this is what we need. So I'm not going to uh, do to cut anything off because you, usually what we do is yes we mask the base like this, okay. Um, see. Okay, mask like this, and you can see there's a flat line below. So I can I can directly crop it off, but I'm losing all these small fine fine details on the on the roots, which I could use to get. uh I'll show you this kind of an effect so it's kind of a small uh, roots branching off the 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 main ones like um uh, be somewhat like this so so if you see if you look at this branches uh, i mean this is root as a main main root you can see some nice smaller ones branching off so that so that's what what will happen if i delete this like there'll be a big big chunk of this going off right so i don't want to do that So I just want to keep the those 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 roots intact at the at the edge, so I can manipulate those roots in 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 3ds Max uh, when I convert this into a low 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 body. So remove the mask. Now I'm just going to going in and manually going to uh, crop this part off. So for some time I, I'm 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 just going to uh, do this. I'm I'm gonna come back. I'll just. Uh, uh for the entire process okay so here i have um, i have a mask selection uh of a section of the the base so what i will do is first i will just um, invert the mask so control left click mask inverted so just the uh, unmasked portion what i'll do is i'll go to visibility hide hide point so that will be hidden okay so that part of geometry is now and now hidden now i'll now i'll i can go to geometry then can modify topology yeah so uh <coughs> I may check the mesh level right now. Uh, 
okay so this one so i have done uh, some part of the removal process i had to do the whole thing for the entire trunk there is some more part left so, so, so i'll be doing it while i won't be talking anything so I, i'll come back after that Okay, so right now we have a um, the tree with most of the noise removed uh, for the soil. I mean, so sorry, I mean the soil removed, and uh, we got a nice uh, base for the roots. We use some of these uh, for our project, not the entire tree, but if you look at sideways, uh, you can see all these roots that are coming down. I can actually bend this inside a. Uh, 3d software like max 3d studio max just just from this portion so keep this as, as a top in the top ground and this portion i can actually bend down i cannot do it on the high poly but i can do it on the low low resolution mesh because we only need we only need this much for the entire tree so the half that, that, that was a wrong example so here so this part again just delete totally delete because i don't need that need that because you only see the front half of the tree inside the game so uh, so that's the plan for this so the next part is to uh go into the sub tool again and i'm just going to make a copy of this just to keep it safe um i'll just rename it as Mask cleaner. So, uh, so by cleanup, I mean you can see those this kind of um, remaining geometry here and there, like small pieces of mesh, which I don't need. This could have could make a lot of problems when I'm uh, when I'm baking it in Designer. So what I will do is first I will uh, convert this into uh, into polygroups. So I'll just go to the polyframe fill. So then, because it can give me a, a depiction with with color, and go down all the way to polygroups. Uh, I just use uh, use auto groups for now. So it's doing it now. I think it's already done. Now, if I pre press Control Shift and left click on the mesh here. Uh, it'll actually hide all the you know small bits of geometry which was lying around so now it's clean turn off the polyframe i can go into again go back into geometry modify topology delete hidden so now the tree is uh, tree is very clean i'll show you what, what i mean if i go into the, the the previous version masked you can see a lot of uh, impurities so those things I don't need. Also, if you zoom in here, you can see small bits of uh, geometry. See these ones? So we remove them by polygroup and just uh, removing uh, the press, uh, pre uh, pre uh, press pressing Control Shift and clicking on the geometry you want to keep. So that is pretty much uh, inside ZBrush. Uh, just save the project once more just to keep it safe now go back into there's a little bit of cleaning left uh, so what I mean is go to to knock gray now if you go into the side view um, you see a lot of there's a lot of stuff in the in the trunk which we cannot use so the top <coughs> so sorry the top part of this trunk like when they uh, when when mega scans actually scanned it um, they only scanned the bottom part of the trunk and and and, and some some remaining parts of the, the geom geometry with a lot of impurity like noises we we cannot use it because it it will pose a lot of problems when i uh, try to tile it for the whole whole trunk right so i can use i can use this portion that is fine but the top I, I cannot 
So the best way to remove that is uh, to find the best angle which you can go for. Maybe like uh, okay this right here yeah right here and just I'm just going to press control and just drag it like this making it a flat top uh, which I can remove now in invert um, to visibility height points so that's all top top part is gone you can go back to geometry modify topology and delete here there is now a clean clean mesh uh, so there is no uh, no uh, ground with it uh, the clean just the roots and the treetop which this part I can use to tile uh, that's a long long process uh, but I will show you step by step how to do that so uh, next thing we are going to do is I'll just save it so solve always save the project so never ever go without saving so we can lose a precious amount of data okay now I'll just move this geometry to another level in in, in sub tool just like layers uh, make a duplicate copy of it and rename it so I'll rename this to mm, decimate decimate zero one because I'll be I'll be making multiple copies of it just to keep it um, more organized and I can always go back to the previous level like if I if I have something wrong with this I can always go back to uh, this one mask one so if the decimation looks a bit noisy or if I don't like it I can always go back to the mask cleanup level also that's why I'm keeping it there now uh, next step is to is to um, make try and make a low poly out of this low poly I mean not the low poly which you can use in a game but a low poly mesh which you can use to unwrap and bake um, bake a good amount of textures from it I mean good quality textures from it so for the first step I'll just uh, use the de decimation master so in this uh, I'll just use the default settings I'm not, I'm, I'm not changing anything now I'm going to pre-process current so it's processing it because it is not a heavy mesh so it'll get over fast so once I hit decimate current it will lose the te te texture because the UVs are gone but that is fine so that is the first level of decimation if you go to polyframe you can see uh, it's getting better now so again pre-process so i may have to do, the, do this for a couple of times decimate mid current uh, so just take a look at the roots uh, i don't want to lose any details on it keep a watch on the roots and again pre-process by 20 this mid current so it is going to be somewhat okay so so at this stage uh, I will keep this as a backup and then again duplicate decimate uh, 2 is fine it's fine just make it save it files a bit heavy now Okay, now what I'll do is I'll uh, smoothen some of the noises because they, uh, they can actually save some time for me later on. So go to go to smooth sm smoothness and intensity. Uh, that is down to about uh, three. Uh, let me let me let me see how how good that is. When I try, yeah, three is good. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, I'm trying to make. Uh, the noise is uh, less obvious so you can, can just hide the polyframe because it will give you a better result by looking at the screen like this so smooth like smoothen out like whatever you feel like it is too sharp or too noisy in the, in the geometry and make it uh, less obvious
so it's, uh, it's kind of relaxing the uh, the geometry a little bit to get a more smoother result Okay, so we got a uh, disseminated mesh slightly uh, smoothened up, manually smoothing it. Uh, you could use you could, you, you could use the uh, auto smoothing inside uh, using other uh, ZBrush functions if you know it. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I'm mainly focusing on doing it manually. So if we go to Polyframe again, uh, it is much less noisy right now. So uh, it was very noisy before so i think it's a good time to go into remesh so this one again i'll keep as a one level of uh, sub tool and then duplicate it this is a decimate duplicate it and rename it as uh, i'll rename it as masked uh, remesh remesh zero one so remesh is basically it will, it will convert all the triangles into editable uh, four-sided polygons wherever possible. So just save it again once more. Then we'll go into remesh. So let me wait till the program saves it. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is go into geometry, then Z remesher. Uh, let's keep the poly count at five, uh, or, or you can even do it as half. Half is good. Half is a good uh, good count. Uh, so keeping everything as 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 default, uh, I'll hit on Z remesher. Okay. So now I got a really nice uh, four sided polygons. The, there could be some some triangles in between, but that is perfectly fine. Uh, again, I can go in and just smoothen out all these uh, minor inconsistencies wherever you find it like a bit of a problem here so just make it like loosening it up try to get the maximum amount of uh, details as possible without losing much of the triangles Anyway, we'll be doing a heavy, uh, heavy rework in in today's Max, just to fix the problems in the mesh once we take it into the Max for baking, because unwrapping needs a very clean geometry, uh, otherwise it won't work. I need clean, uh, clean rings and clean loops, otherwise it'll be a big, big pain. Uh, okay, let's go up. So this is level one of uh, remesh. So I'll be going into maybe level two or level three, just to get the best out of it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Now let's try again going to sub tool, duplicate. So this one actually named as uh, Premier Zero Two. That's fine. Um, again going to geometry, um, half of this. Zero measure. Let's let's try what brings out. Uh, just the other one is still starting to. Okay, so that one is okay, but if you still look at the rings here, this might work. But there's a small problem area here, because what I mean is, I need. Oh, come on, yeah, I need these lines as tight as possible, like. Um, 
So these lines have to be like very clean. So the num numbers also have to be like here. Here is perfect. Here is perfect. Like if you count like count that up to here. So so this is this 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 could be the cutoff where I uh, will be separating the top of the trunk and the and, and the roots. The roots will mostly will be uh, unique uh, unwrap. And starting from here, from here it will be tileable. So um, if you look at this one right here, uh, in this short is okay. So if I turn camera, if you look right here, there's a problem spot. So this I could fix it manually inside Max, like reconnecting these two. And our and just de deleting this uh, this loop, loop, I could fix that problem. But let me try to remesh it once more. Okay, half of this. If I don't lose any details, like we can call it uh, as a final geometry for for unwrapping. Mm. Let me try try once more. Uh, geometry remesh at half. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. So that removed that problem here, and I have a, I have a really good mesh now. So what we'll do is, uh, let me check this more. Yeah, it's good. Also check check that uh, any loop is going like a spring. Like what I mean is, like a spiral. If it goes from here all the way around and go like go like a spiral up, that won't work. Because it will it'll, it'll, it'll need a lot of uh, secondary work in 3ds Max or Maya, whichever software package you you choose to uh, uh, to model it in low poly, uh, it'll be a, a big big hassle to fix it. So check the top loop here, uh, all the way around. It has to be just one. Second one, keep an eye on the second one. It has to be single loop. The third one. Yeah, it is single loop so let's try here so fix your eye here and check for that loop if it is one it is one so it is so so we are good so this is how you how you de determine if the if the mesh is good for sculpting i mean it's good for baking now what we'll do is i just want to make sure that this this uh, low poly geometry closely matches with the with the original uh, high definition mesh so what i'll do is uh, I'll make use of the, uh, the sub tool palette and unhide the one just above decimate this one clean up if you look right now the geometry is actually going inside there's a lot of uh, loss so keeping this one selected I'll turn off the polyframe and go into sculpting mode so now I will actually my tab is a bit far far away from the keyboard. Okay, so I'll use my um, tab to um, to bring this out. So for the uh, just use a sanded brush. Sanded brush is fine uh, because I don't have any texture on it. Uh, so, so the sculpt is very very low poly mesh. So just use the add and uh, try and see if, if, if the size is good, the brush size. So bring it out slightly and I need, I think density can be around 10. Uh, if it's too much, I'll, uh, I'll reduce it. Yeah, 10 is good. So just manually sculpt it out, this details. Uh, the reason being, uh, I will lose a lot of details like if I don't do, do, do this. Because I had actually smoothened out a lot of geometry in the initial phase uh, after decimation.
that is uh, I think that is pretty much it um, let's hide the uh, high poly and see how it is so let's hide this yeah see the details on it so it was a bit kind of flat before but now you got all the uh, details back so I will use this uh, as the base for um, baking now next step is to uh, do a simple unwrap on this inside ZBrush so flattening flatten up uh, just go to polyframe uh, there is like a I have a UV sitting here somewhere okay UV master so open UV master and just use uh, unwrap just simple unwrap and just see flatten so it will give you a really nice uh, flattened version of the UVs so unflatten and export this as an obj save again save again so i have you seen like how many times i save so saving is very important so keep saving it so um so i'll export this mesh as, as, an, as, as, as an obj into tree stump uh, i'll create a new folder called um, source meshes low source so one same way i need to uh, export the high poly mesh so find the one that is just above the decimation uh mask one mask one okay so don't 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 forget it uh then just export it export let's name it a uh, high source so save it so zbrush is writing it 